to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. What did you think of the uh, Democratic debates last night, Japes? Oh, the Democratic debates? Me? Well, I hope you, I'm glad you came back to me. Because last time you didn't come back to me, and now we're back to me, okay? And I think the American people deserve to know where their bread is buttered. And it's buttered here. Okay, and I know my time is up, but I hope you come back to me. <laughs> That's a great Marianne Williamson, Thank actually. Thank you. Well, who, who, who did we say would do her? Kristen Wiig, wouldn't if, if she Chris, be great? If, if Kristen Wiig was on SNL, she would definitely do Marianne Williamson. What do you think? They got to bring her back. Just for one little, just a, <sighs> some kind of debate thing, right? So we're, here's late, the but. weirdest thing about that last night. So you and I watched it, obviously, and, you know... She wasn't afraid to shred her own party, which was hilarious, over and over and over again. I, me personally, and, and I was like, I went and looked online afterwards because, yes, she's fucking crazy. But the point she was making, she was like, look, everything you're talking about doing is not going to work. And here's why. Mm-hmm. And most searched candidate of all of last night's debate, Drudge, Re- Drudge Report, had her winning the debate. And this was based oh, on, oh. yeah, based Winning? on fans. Yeah, yeah. Well, and everybody was like pissed at CNN for giving her more questions and time because I thought for sure going into last night that they would have just cut her off, cut the baby off, and said, "All right, we'll ask her one or two, and then get her out of here." Because now they got to narrow it down to six in September, and she's not going to be one of them. So, what was the point in having? Author Marianne Williams. Marianne Williams. Sin. Reparations. And it's been, and she, she goes very, you know, she's yeah, got yeah. a great build up. It's very, you know, the rolling hills are, they, aren't they gorgeous? And I think the American people need to know, you know, and yeah, it's yeah, great. Yeah. yeah. She takes you on the journey, right? She's got a hilarious she cadence is, yeah. of a, 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 she a dinner me theater actress. Of somebody. From the spaghetti warehouse. Yep. Like a, like a murder mystery, like a who done it. Did you ever go to that Italian place in North Hollywood off Lankershim where they sing the Italian, the waitress, oh, they're yeah, all yeah, actresses. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It was like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's really, really going to sing for her supper. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But, she was. Um, she felt like the female Donald Trump in that she has no experience. Mm-hmm. Right. She has no policies. There was nothing that she was going to like put into place, right? But she was speaking straight to what the party, like the the deficits. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, it, so it was kind of like you you feel you felt the same. Not not that you were on board with her, but you felt like okay, like people are pissed, and she's talking to those people that are pissed. Here's what was interesting about what you just said. Her website apparently was crushed with traffic during and after the debate and they were specifically looking up what her policies actually were and everybody was like men eh, she doesn't really have any uh, any reparations policies. definitely talked about 500 million or no, that's billion with a, it's with a b 500 million b- in no, rep- a b. billion yep with a b i'm not hearing it so it's with a B. Okay. Yep. And so in reparations is pretty much the only like hard thing I heard her say, right? Yeah. That you were like, oh, okay. So you're going to push for that. Mm-hmm. Um, everything else was just, you're sort of, if you were, you know, if you are a Democrat or whatever, I could see you, sh- you know, nodding your head kind of like, yeah. Yeah. But now what, right? Yeah, exactly. And then you get up, you get her in there, and then she just sort of gives really great speeches. Uh, or not great. Uh, it, it, it was hilarious and theatrical, and it is what it is. It was such she a got, stark like, contrast to Bernie. Ah, can, can I speak? Can I? It's like, hey, bro, you, you've been speaking the whole goddamn time. Like, he made it all about Bernie last night. Mm-hmm. The problem 
again with it is 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 out of last night's debate. It was it was probably owned by Bernie and Elizabeth Warren, right? But we knew that was going to happen. Time-wise. Yeah, and time when I say wise. owned, I meant time-wise, not yeah, like, yeah. yeah, they owned them. They got served. Not at all. It, just they the were time just was went to they were given the most them. time. They yeah. were you know, they were asked their opinion on a lot more uh, cuz they're going to be in the final 6. Right. And, and and they knew it. So it was like But all of like uh, uh, pretty pretty much every candidate was bickering against those two because the, of their socialist policies that they want to implement. And everybody's like, man, none of what you're saying is going to work. Yet n- the rest of those people aren't moving on. And then you're going to have fucking crazy Bernie and Pocahontas rolling through there. I, I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, I, I think it was a shit show where, you know, it ended up being them bickering against each other rather than, and why their policies aren't going to work rather than anything against Republicans or Trump or whatever. And it's like, I don't know what you're left with. Tonight should be an all out bloodbath. Uh, this show doesn't air until uh, after. Because they're tonight's going after over. Biden now. And Biden said, how- I'm going to fight back tonight. So. Right. We'll because see. was that the. Um, did he get criticism for not last time or? Yeah. And that he got owned by uh, K- Kamal Harris, you know, um, for working with. Uh, it's like not a good look to yell back at Kamala Harris either. So you, you're damned if you do. You're damned if you don't in that situation. Right. He's got to come out swinging because. Right. Everybody's going to be going after him because he's the front runner right now. So I don't know. To me. I- Here's how much I didn't care. All I could. All I could see is Elizabeth Warren's neck and chest. And she has the neck and chest of a 25 year old. Yeah, it's crazy. And it's very distracting. Yeah. And that's how much 70. they were just like, she is 70. Yeah. You guys will see it now. Not one wrinkle in her neck or chest. But not even not a wrinkle. It's so smooth. Oh, yeah. It's like she has only focused her entire life, probably since, since she's 15, is what it looks like, focused solely on neck and chest mm. C- cremas yeah you know what i mean a lot of cremas lasers uh whatever work she has done it's from here to here could be that indian blood heard it's really good really soft skin that's true that's true but that's how much never they want were to just discount that at all jabes making it so i tuned them out yeah and only looked at her neck uh but here's the uh the craziest thing about this is it, the, the ratings were shit. Uh, you know, we watch it because we we the enjoy politics and watch the now the Bachelorette ratings. You can't go up. You can't go up against the Bachelorette. The fucking roof, which is what we swung on over to afterwards. So what we did was we taped, uh, ta- ta- fucking taped, DVR'd, whatever you want to call it. It's it's still we like, recorded oh, it. Yeah, we recorded it. It sound. I don't know what the term is. It sounds so lame. That and like, you know, oh, I, I bought this album, CD, fucking whatever. Mm. Like, no, you didn't. No, yeah. you didn't buy any of that. Um, we yeah. recorded it. Yeah. So we, we watched it afterwards. And uh, boy, I'm going to be realsies with you here. Hannah B, favorite contestant of all time on this show. Mm-hmm. Um, she was fun. Yes, you she did was love her. Into the, the all the shit. She was cute. She was funny. She seemed probably the most real person there. And she's fairly smart, to be honest, too. Yeah. And she seemed like a, like a good time, you know, like a like a fun girl, a like good time gal. Right. All of that was taken away from me um, when she didn't choose your boyfriend. Tyler C. Yeah, that that was crazy. And, and again, for the folks at home, if you haven't been listening to the old shows, I get sucked into The Bachelor. I've said this numerous times on other shows because of you and I am watching it and then I get into it. Right. You can't. And, and I get hyped up about it, but it's hard. It depends on who the people are. This great girl, great girl for the bachelorette. I think it was a perfect casting choice from a, a directing standpoint, producer standpoint. It was awesome. Dude wise. Tyler C and the fucking pilot smooth sailing. You go home with Tyler C. You have a, Fucking bonanza of ratings. Those guys could have cashed in on endorsement deals for the next three years. That goddamn guy looks like he he. You just pulled him off the side of an Abercrombie and Fitch bag. Um, he's flawless. It's insane. Even I'm like, I, I understand. 
I mean, the when he walked you out last s- night, you were saying it a lot. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh god, you know, it's hard. It's, you, hard, to, it's hard to look at. Oh boy. I mean, you said at one point you were like, oh god, that may be the most attractive man I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. You know. I, I, and I I couldn't believe it. Um, and then I was like, well, maybe it's me, right? I, I know you thought he was hot, but then when he walked out on stage, it was confirmed those women went. It's everything. Hit it's everything. Berg last night. They mm-hmm. went Tittsburg Steelers last night on just. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. it was like Prince. Demi Lovato was there. Demi She's Lovato like, was in the audience. Hello, I'm yeah. here. Yeah. Bella Hadid started following him. I think it's a number of things with him. There's the contractor thing. Yeah. It's Handy guy. It. Handy guy. Part of it. Shredded. Shredded. And sweet. Uh, a little bit dumb. And that was probably why she didn't pick him. He's so what? Little- He's the nicest dude ever. Like, dude, you can get over that when you're, you know, going reverse cowgirl every fucking night. Like, look, though, if it was put the other way and you've said this. Yes. Super hot girl. Yep. Insanely hot. Dumb as shit. You can have a good time with her for what you reckon? Six months? Depends on how hot she is. I mean, you could probably bump that number up. But okay. uh, what I will say is he didn't seem that dumb to me. Like Of like, look, I've been watching this show long enough with you where it's like, who is that hot blonde girl that they kept cutting away to from the last season? She was kind of crazy, but she oh, was Demi. real dumb. Yeah. She was not hot. She was she sitting next six, to Demi Lovato. She had six from Blossom Features, remember? She was like... She was a smaller weird girl, sort but kind of looked good on camera, proportion, whatever. Proportion, midget proportions. Right. But normal size. Either way, mm-hmm. dumb, dumb. Just an absolute yes, fucking yes, dumb, yes. dumb. Yes. Whereas Tyler C., he, he was a pretty smart guy. He was nice to the family. I mean, even the, the parents, her oh. parents loved him. They were just like. Do you remember the next day and the brother was like dressing like him? Yeah. He had his pants <laughs> short. Yeah. He was like, yeah, and his, you know, Sleeves shirt up. rolled up. Yeah. The whole thing, and you were like, all right, Tyler, dude, because that's Tyler, part of it, Tyler. too, where if your family likes the other person. And that's a huge part of it. Yeah, and, I, and her family came out and said, what do you do to the other dude that she ended up picking? What do you do for a living? Well, I'm really psyched about this dog jingle I just sold, and I think things are starting to happen. Mm. No. Nope. Not only are they not happening, so if you didn't watch this fucking show, turns well, out right before he you. left... That doesn't matter. It's already aired and it's mm. everywhere now. Right before he left to go on the show, he was in a serious hardcore relationship and he just told this this girl bye. And uh, he said girl bye, but he also said he like I'll wrote her back. a note. I'll be back. This is going to be good for my career. I love you. Yep. Don't worry. Yeah. When this is all over, you're going to realize like how good it was for us. He didn't realize that she was just going to keep fucking picking him no matter what he did. Yeah, and he had a head. Very reminiscent of Mars Attacks. Sure. Um, I don't know what the character's name is, but you know what I'm talking about. Yes, because Big I dome, made it up and I kept calling him Mars small Attacks. Features, yeah. yeah. But what's the what's the character name? I have no idea, but when you say Mars Attacks, I think everybody knows Pictures the big dome yeah, and then the thin with the, face. The small yeah. thing and Yeah. And so I, I hit up a buddy of mine, Graham Allen, um, who's off on the show, and him and his wife were watching it too. He got sucked in like I did. And both of us were like, if she doesn't pick Tyler C, she's a fucking idiot. Fucking idiot. And that's or the exactly pilot, what happened. Where it's just like, you know, the pilot yeah, was driving her around in a fucking Mercedes. Peter Not to be materialistic, but, you know, here's the other thing. In a Mercedes to his plane, and then he flew her all over and fucking Santa sweet. Monica. And was sweet. Yeah. And they had sex four times in a windmill. And like, I don't know what else you're looking for, girlfriend. Weird. But here's what I want to see. So I think that the bachelor at bachelors are too young. So they're, they're 23, 25. And they're, I guess it's the only way to make the show the way it is. But the bachelorette that I want to see is a 35 year old. You know what I mean? Right. Been through it. Been through the dating scene, knows that like I think the picking on that would be a lot more interesting, right? Right. Maybe a kid. Uh, you know, uh, it's strange, man. The, the 
Because it's tough. What, is she, what was she, 26 years old? 23. H- Hannah B? Yes. No. Yeah. I'm going to have to fact check that right now. 23. All the guys were 25. Like, this is not... This is, you know, they had a summer fling. I don't know. I mean, I've had this conversation with normal people, right? And uh, what do you mean, normal people? So she's she's twenty five. She's twenty five years old. Okay, she I've was twenty four when it started. Yeah, I, I, correct. Um, I've had this this conversation with with normal people in the outside world who are not in L.A. or New York, and they're all saying, "Yeah, getting married around that age is pretty stock standard." You know, she's from Alabama. Fuck, they get married at 12 there so she she actually doubled the age she might be a little old for sorry, alabama. alabama i i didn't say it i'm not sorry alabama i didn't um, say i just want to have the record show that i didn't say anything eh, like I did. that i did and i okay. uh, don't really care so she is and for alabama she's really old she might as well be jessica tandy right um, any who's i think most normal people outside of new york and la that aren't going for hardcore aggressive jobs and trying to be powerful women and things like that. They 25? get married around 25. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm look, I'm from Georgia originally. Right. And I'm looking, I look back at my high school people, friends on uh, Facebook, all of their kids are like teens and you know, they got married right around that same age. So maybe, maybe it's us on that one and I'll let that one slide. Right. I'd what still I won't like let slide it. is the Tyler C thing. She deserves to be unhappy and miserable forever because not only did she keep that fucking Luke P guy around who was a piece of shit, um, but then she picked Mars Attack over Tyler C. That guy was cut from a mountain. He could have been a, like another natural wonder of the world. Yeah, you were really. He, he could have been like the ninth really, natural wonder really of the world. Really, really kept talking about. So Tyler here's what C. I'd like to see for Tyler C. Mm-hmm. Boom. I'd like to see him as a hot convict guy. Now and then have him marry some fucking heiress because he can. I'd like to see him with fucking Bella Hadid. Totally. And then just say, you know what, Hannah B? It was real, dude. And just be like a professional model boyfriend. Yes. So not to just like not go into the not go into the bachelorette machine. Because once you go into that machine, they just spit you out into and, all these other facets. And that's what made me Bachelor amped. in Paradise. Yes, and that's what made me amped about seeing those, pa- those Bachelor in Paradise clips is he wasn't a part of that cast, whereas the other guy from last year was, and you're like, ah, oh, mm. I didn't think he was really like that. And then he's fucking crying in the fetal position on a beach somewhere. Yeah, and he does all the Bachelor stuff where they do like family feud, Bachelorettes, like bringing them back up to interview whatever. So... You know, the 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 Bachelor mach- machine after is quite depressing. So I would love to see him not go into it. Right. I would love to see him deny because I'm sure they've offered the Bachelor to him. Yeah. I would love for him to just be like, if I think I'm going to go see about a girl. Here's uh, and just date. Awesome chicks. Let's just date Bella Hadid and, and call it a day. And just be like arm candy, professional arm candy. Well, I will say this. If the Bachelor producers are smart, this is the first time they haven't announced it of who the Bachelor is going to be. Oh, uh, no. They did this last year with Colton, remember? If the, oh, well, if they're smart, you go all in on Tyler C, back up the truck, and that will be the highest rated fucking show they've ever had in the history. And every girl... And their mother will go out. I mean, look, you were talking about trying to hit the Cleveland auditions uh, to, to yeah, get Yeah, I wanted that. to do the... Na- I mean, I had an audition already set for Nashville, but... Right. I think that... I think I could... Cleveland's a little easier. Pop up. <laughs> pop up there. I was going to also, you know, party a little bit in Nashville. But yeah. 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 So, think about that one. I mean, Imagine. women would be tearing their pubes out to get into that show and that would be a hundred percent real where whoever he picked those girls would be like uh but take oh, me oh i mean the just drama fucking take me. Just the, fucking take me yes the drama to try and get to get to, to tyler. marry tyler c would be f- chaos knocking each other out cunt punches i think cunt punts uh he you have to be able to speak you know what i mean Yep. You have to be able to speak for long periods and make sense and mm. do little speeches mm-hmm. and rally everybody. And I'm not sure if he's that guy. 
Do you remember the farmer dude? He's fine. Yeah. And he's going to jail. He, he killed somebody. La- right? Yeah. He killed someone on a tractor. Yeah. Drunk as shit on a tractor. Drunk as shit. But. Hit and run. I just I think, again, I, and I hate to bring this up again, but just think of the cunt punches, the cunt punts. Like these women, mm-hmm. it's just going to. I heard you. Oh, you did? Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah, if you yeah, caught yeah, it. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. yeah. I did. And um, and I hear you. And I right. I acknowledge you. Cunt jabs. Or mm-hmm. it's just like a jab. And then I know a, we're maybe working a, on. A cunt uppercut. We're working on you knowing that you're seen and heard. Right? <laughs> we're working on in therapy. We're working on making sure that Ross knows he's seen. I see you and I hear you. Okay? <laughs> So, um, yes, and I did. And I did hear about all the cunt punches and cunt punts and uh, w- that they would be doing with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To try to get to Tyler C., obviously. Okay, and now we understand each other? Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Crystal clear. So, yeah. yeah. So, um, <laughs> uh, like I was saying before, uh, you needed t- to be heard, is, uh, you know, you need to be able to speak. Again, I could not do it. <laughs> Obviously, you have to speak for long periods of time and you need to be understood, right? Yeah. You have to make sense. Oh, yeah. I couldn't do it. Also, age. Maybe that's why I was like saying I'd like to see an older, like a real bachelorette. You yeah. know what I'm saying? What do, what do they, they usually call women on that show who are 31 or above. Cougars. Cougars. Like they're, they're old and dead um, on that show, which is true on that, on that show. And I'm not saying in real life mm-hmm. on that show, mm-hmm. right? Because mm-hmm. you couldn't go on that show. Right. No, yes. not the show that it is now. Correct. Just the show that I hope it evolves to by the time. Yeah, I, it'd be a different name of the show. Though. <laughs> yeah. It wouldn't be a bachelor, <laughs> would be? just a divorcee. Yeah, divorcees, yeah. dude. Divorcees. Talk about the drama there, Oof. dude. Baggage. Yeah. You want to do a show with baggage? Everyone has kids and you're just like, oh, oh God, God, how do you decide? You know what would be fun? It'd be better to do one without kids. Because, you know, <laughs> gals that have gotten to that age don't have kids, have never been married. So, like, that would be the criteria, except for you have to be 37 or older. Oof, I know a few of those and it's, it's bad. Right. And you have to still, I, a couple of them, I you think the crying? criteria criteria should be they have to still be bartending right yeah can you do you know how much crying would go on in that show oh oh god mm. i can never find the one right i, can, I, can I, never find find my whole life. Ah. I know and then a lot of like i know what i want you know yeah i'm strong and i'm not gonna settle yep and you didn't settle no and that's why and you're now still you go to your local 37 and water and hole yep every night <laughs> and you're the the hot young, hot young thing there. Who's, you know what I mean? Uh, always ordering the barefoot because that's the only wine on the menu. Right. Take another glass of that barefoot. Top it off. You want to top off uh, the barefoot? Mm-hmm. Stop, top, 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 top that off, please. Top off the barefoot, please. Uh, can we turn up the volume on the Real Housewives of Orlando? Right. Can we uh, hike that one up. Yep. Uh, still here on a Monday night. And yeah. Like, yeah. All right, lady. Randy, like they they love knowing. Yeah, the Randy, bartender. you know me. Right, Ra- Randy. Do you know what? Do you know if Ashley's coming today? Yeah, I'll take five hot wings, just five. Yeah, naked. You know how I like it, Sergio. Naked. Sergio, let me talk to him. I'll go back to the kitchen and talk to him. Yep, and, and some ranch, Sergio. Five uh, naked wings, um, and some ranch, Sergio. God, as if I have to ask. He, kn- they know me. They know. And me. then telling every, they know. They me. know me. They know me. No, trust me. They all fucking those names know me. All those names were real names from the rustic, and I had were someone really? in my mind. Yeah, that was that person. What? What was and her final? Me. What was her final verdict? What did she? She ever end up getting married? Boyfriend? Which or one? Is she still there right now? The woman who would come in. Uh, final verdict. I'm sure she's still there. Really? Yeah. 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 How many yeah, times a week yeah. does she come in? Um, she was there. Uh, she would work there, and then when she wasn't working, she'd be on the other side. Oh, uh, yikes! Yeah. yeah. So eventually, 
you so just being a visitor isn't good enough and you have to eventually take that job. Yeah. 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 Because yeah, they yeah. always need someone because someone has always either called in hungover mm-hmm. or not showed up. Yep. Or gone to jail the night before, or whatever, because it's that insane of a place, right? So if there's someone sitting at the bar that can bartend, you will eventually get behind the bar. Sure. And get paid. Because she pays like cash at the end of the night, too. There's no paychecks. You yeah. get paid like your pay at the end of the night. So great. <laughs> so good. Oh, that's great. It really was a, a, a you know. A, a place in time. You bet it is. Uh, and a place in time for sponsors is here, James. Ooh. And they pay for this show to be on the air. Talking about ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Whew. Finally got the bunk bed. Bunk bed's up. Kids are in it. Shout out to Ghostbed for the mattresses. Um, I use my own promo code. Is that wrong? I think that's fair. It's fine, right? I think it's fair. It's fine. I put it under the business uh, there you go. things so that way they didn't know that it was me like actually ordering product for my own shit now for you're our telling, own sponsors. Now you're telling secrets. Yeah, now I'm telling lies outside now of school. Now you're telling secrets. Now I'm speaking outside and of and school. And half truths. Yeah, and I'm half hard. You're an old half hard. Yeah. Uh, you're always ready to go. Always in peak condition, ready to stab something uh if you're stabbing something go to ghostbed.com get yourself a mattress lay that lady out on it or a man somebody changed my wikipedia page this is so fucking funny man i laughed for a thousand years and posted it in uh in drinking bros today i'm gonna read this to you because i laughed for a thousand years um somebody went in and hacked my wikipedia page and it says You know, Ross Patterson was in over 20 films, blah, blah, blah. And then it says, in 1998, Ross had sex with a grandma on top of a ghost bed mattress. (laughs) Perfect. In 98. (laughs) Wow. I don't know why they picked that year. but granny. I'm not not sure if uh, (laughs) anything was out. I think you're going to get a lot more people uh, messing with your Wikipedia page now. Well, you know, it's funny, man. When it started, I... Because somebody else does it, you can't you you're, you can't create your own Wikipedia page. Yeah, yeah. So somebody else does it. It's all fucking wonky and kind of disjointed. I don't know who keeps adding shit or whatever it is. I, I just don't give a shit about Wikipedia. But um, my I got my roommate to do it because I was like, I don't understand. Anybody can change it. He's like, Yeah, man, anybody can just write whatever. And he goes, They'll usually correct it a few days later or something. And I was like, Oh, all right. Well, let's write that I killed a man in Fresno in two thousand four over a pound of shredded boar's head turkey. And I killed him in a parking lot, but I was later uh, acquitted of murder. Mm-hmm. And I go, write that in, and we'll see how long it stays for, because I, w- I wanted to test it, you know? So he wrote it in. You know it stayed for 14 months that I had murdered a man in Fresno? And, like, Jeez. I totally forgot about it and uh, ended up going out on a date with someone. And they were like, hey, man, you seem like totally normal. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I mean, relatively, obviously. And they were like, what's with the Fresno thing? I they, was like, what's with looking me up on Wikipedia before we go on a date? Did people you say are creeps. That? People are creeps. And that, like that, in, in LA, I thought nothing of that. I was like, eh, no big deal, right? Um, but then I was like, Fresno. What the fuck happened in Fresno? I was like, you know, you it's it, there was a like rumor like you killed somebody or what? And I was like, oh my god, no! That's what we did for the Wikipedia. Fourteen months that fucking stay. That's crazy. Fourteen months. So know that I'm not going to change that. I'm going to leave that there. I don't really care. I think it's hilarious. Oh no, that's so awesome. So we'll see how long that I had sex with someone's grandma on a ghost bed stays up because that's really fucking funny. Uh, and if you want to have sex with someone's grandmother or grandfather. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Mattresses, pillows, sheets. Uh, If you're military, first responder, 15% off forever. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. Click it and get all your shit. Um, If not, they get massive deals for regular civilians like myself. And as always, at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros, 36 months. No interest, pay as you go program. Bingo, bango, Dodge Durango. Go get it. Next up, we got StrikeForceEnergy.com. 
Boom, 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 boom. Shabloinkers. Shabloinkers. Uh, Strike Force has got four amazing flavors. Everybody's drinking these in the summer. I threw a little bit in the booch here today. I'm having kombucha. Uh, trying to stay healthy and not get sick. We're doing a lot of shows these days. Yeah. Daddy can't afford to go down. Uh, original, orange, lemon, make America grape again. 10 pack, 40 pack, 750 milliliter bottle. Uh, get, your, get, your, get your danglers loose on a back of strike force. Tasty, tiny little tin pouch. Rip it open and squeeze it into any liquid available. No carbs, no sugars, all the fun. Five hours with the energy. Do it, do it, do it. Fucking do it, do it. Strikeforceenergy.com. Promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. Last but not least is what you came for, Jabes. Straightrazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Put the put the things back on, Jamie. Put them back on. Put the headphones oh, on. Oh, you like it? Oh. Okay. Let he freedom didn't do ring. It. <laughs> Let the white dove sing. Oh. That was Martina McBride. Uh, she probably shaves up that bush with a straight razor. Just a guess. I don't know her, but. Uh, I would imagine she might. Uh, Straightrazors.com has got everything you need to be a real man or a transitioning lady in this life. You know? I think Chaz Bono is a big, uh, he's a big Straight Razors guy now. You know? Yeah. That's uh, the Cher's daughter slash now son. Oh, Chaz. Chaz. Chaz Bono. Um, I don't know if he's a spokesman for Straightrazors.com. Go to their website and check it out. And uh, and request request Chaz Bono, (laughs) yeah. Because whatever he are we going he? Where do we go? I think she's gone. Listen, she's he's got a beard. He's got a fucking beard and a you know a portly dude body and you know he's been doing it long enough. Yeah, we're gonna give him he right. We're gonna give him he. We'll give him he. We're gonna give him he. Caitlyn Jenner, you haven't put your time in yet. No. You're a she. No, not at all. Well, um, give him he. I mean, he really went above and beyond Chaz, didn't he? He did. And good Ooh, for him. And good for him. Uh, last, last but not least, thank you for my service. Uh, the book is out for pre-order right now. We are 19 days away from magic hitting your mailboxes. We're super close to New York Times bestseller list. Um, might even achieve number one with your help. Buy it now. It's my new masterpiece. Uh, I wrote it with uh, my beef fry, Matt Best. Buy it now. Hilarious, hilarious, hilarious book. This is breaking news, and uh, I'm going to play this. I'm going to play this for me. Wow, that's real. Man. But I just played a little something for myself because this is breaking news. And I, it, it, man, this is uncomfortable. I'm tired of shit being leaked and all that stuff. But uh, so they, they just, this is breaking news right now. That I was kind of listening to, if you could barely hear it in the background, because I was listening to it. Um, they just released a tape of Ronald Reagan talking to Richard Nixon at the White House and uh, saying some super racist shit. Um, so and? he was California governor back then. Mm-hmm. Nixon was in the White House. This had to have been 70s. Uh, I, actually, the exchange was in October 1971, it says. Um, man, I, where are they pulling these tapes from? As, I guess, what well, I guess everything's saying? recorded in the White House, right? Yeah. Everything, right? All, everything you say on the phone is recorded? Is that true? I think it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, and that's why that one guy built built that weird... Remember he like got in trouble for spending all that money to build a weird little cupboard yeah. so that he could be totally separated? Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, everyone yeah. was like, what? And he was like, yeah. yeah. So that people... You're right. He could have that one was... place to have a fucking phone call that isn't... But anyway, go home and do it. So this was... Uh, there were some African delegates from African countries who were visiting the White House. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, Ronald Reagan phoned Nixon and said, "Hey, 
I, I saw what was happening last night. I tell you what, I watched that thing on television as I did. Nixon says yes, and Reagan said, to see those monkeys from those African countries, damn them, they're still uncomfortable wearing shoes. And then Nixon is with a belly laugh on top of that. Um, and that's the only thing of the, that was released of this. Uh, it was about a 19-second clip. Were you under any... Uh assumption that they weren't racist i would have said nixon i would not have i'm surprised about reagan now what year is this 71 yeah yeah surprised All about reagan. conversations between older white men around that time had a little twinge let me ask you this always do you think Black people sit around and talk, like tell white jokes all the time. No, I just think they have. That's a, that, I'm like, like that's a, that's a, a genuine question. Maybe, but I think that, I think that everyone, when they think they're talking to someone, just one other person, will say things that they don't want anyone else to hear, mm. no matter what that is. Right. Um, and even if you don't even really believe it, he was trying to be cool for Nixon. Nixon laughed. You know, you just, it's, uh, well, it says, I'm not it says saying Reagan it's Reagan called right. Nixon, by the way. I'm just saying he was, <laughs> you know, a... uh, so I'm not saying it's right. It's absolutely not right. But I'm also not saying that it surprises me in any way. And, um, you know, you could play me a tape of any older white man in the seventies and I would I, I bet there's going to be something racist on the tape, no matter what it is. Yeah. And that's the problem. And that's always been the problem, right? Why are they digging up this shit now? So what is that? 40 years ago? Mm-hmm. Longer. Right? Shit. Almost 50. 48 years is what you're looking at. What's, we got there. We got there. Yeah, we got there it's eventually. A process. I don't. It's yeah. a process, but we definitely got there. I forgot to bring my abacus <laughs> today, and if you're watching the video on YouTube, subscribe and just know that I'm working on getting my abacus back. It is at the abacus dealer. I had, <laughs> I had crushed it's one of the, the beads. It's at the abacus repair shop. I had crushed one of the beads in a fit of rage, going through the drive-in trying to figure out how much change I owed on a seasoned curly at Arby's. Um, back to what we were talking back about. Back to uh, racism. Yeah. So. So. Sure. Why, you're, why, you're asking, why dig this up now, forty-eight years later? Yeah. So you're asking that. Um, that seems like an easy answer as well, right? I guess. I mean, Reagan was Reagan's a Republican. Um, was Nixon? Yeah, I think Nixon was. What's the What's the point? If you're going to keep driving home this this racism narrative, right? And you're going to go back 48 years? I don't, I don't know, man. Like, to me, why? Why, why do, like, I think these there's people are some dead. People, I think there's some people that don't believe it exists, maybe. You know? Mm. I think there are a lot of people that, you know, and we've said it before, too, in a way that's like, we don't personally know, I don't know anyone in my life that's racist. But right. I also am not going to say for a second that it isn't pretty relevant for a lot of people that aren't my color, right? Yeah. So, you know, I think that some people like to say that it's all solved. We solved that. What's the problem? It's solved, right? Sure. Is it? No. Hmm. So, but I don't know. Dragging that up doesn't help our cause right now, right? Though, like, how does that help all, your cause right the, now? The timing seems strange. What's the What's the point? I guess of all when all with all of this shit was Biden in office? Maybe <laughs> what are they trying to? Yes, do? he was. Know. Biden was 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 working. I think back he then. worked with. Did he work with mm, Nixon? I think he did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but what's the point? Is it, Biden's not on the tape. Right. Why dig through all of this shit, I guess? Like, they were trying to probably find him. 
Oh, find Biden and yeah. they found this. <laughs> yeah. Huh? You know maybe. what I mean? If you, you don't want it to all to be for naught, yeah, right? Yeah, you're, you're maybe you're you right. You gotta put something yeah, out. Yeah, hey, get... listen to these two old farts in the 70s being racist. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> we know. Strange. What a strange breaking news. We definitely thing. know that. Ugh, creepy, man. Uh, the, the new Scorsese movie trailer dropped with and is uh, it De Niro. Movie? Yes. Okay. Uh, on it's, Netflix. It's De Niro. Um, this, they spent $120 million on this fucking thing. De Niro, Pesh. Pacino. Pacino. I don't, like, look, if you've seen this trailer, Pesci looks great, right? Why do you stop acting? As it was voluntary, by the way. We tried to get him for a project. Um, maybe in, I think it was 2009, or, 2009 or 10. And I said, hey, man, Joe Pesci would be awesome for this, this role. And... Uh, I was, I was reaching out because I, I thought he was. I, I think he's gr- a great actor. One, two. I thought he would have been perfect for this thing. And I also looked, and I was like, he's not working. And I thought maybe Hollywood had shunned him or whatever. And it, it was not the case. When we called his agent, they were like, "Look, man, was he starting he to go? Want to. He doesn't want to do anything. Was he starting to go down a little bit of a De Niro road? I think he did. Where he was doing kind of weird comedy that was almost making fun of himself. The last he thing that something. I could remember him in was Home Alone, like the Home Alone mm-hmm. franchise. So I don't, I don't really know, but it was cool to see him back. I dig the trailer, and uh, I want to see some fucking violence, dude. I miss these mobster flicks. Yeah, and Scorsese. Yeah. Scorsese, Pesh, Pash. Yeah. And that's Pacino. The de- Pesh and Pash and De Niro. The Departed is one of those movies I can never turn off whenever it's on. So good. Yeah. But... Having all of those guys together. Come on. Come on. Right? It's a lot of that. They do mob movies the best still, I will say, right? Yeah. And I think, I know. Is there someone else that does a better one? Not I think. I know he wanted to get them together for one last ride, you know? Yeah. In a a great film before. Because look, we saw De Niro in a movie with Zac Efron the other night. Yes. What was it? Bad Grandpa? Yes. Where he's putting lotion, suntan lotion, all over Aubrey Plaza. And I was like, come on, man. He shouldn't be in a movie with Aubrey Plaza and fucking Zac Efron. No. That was crazy to me. Now this, finally, you know, this finally looks good. If you're going to go out on top, maybe not do anything after this, you know? Yeah, I mean, so look, 91, it was the super. And he's like being held up by some bl- big bl- kind of jokey movie and sure. then home alone two, And then you. that was it. Yeah. Right. I Casino told you. Was the last, uh, lethal weapon Four. Oh, you're right. Yes. He, he wasn't in that. going in, t- in a weird direction. No, I don't know. I don't know. You're right. He wasn't lethal weapon Four. that's right. Who knows? Who knows? But, um, but so that was the drop off then in the nineties, and then here. now, yeah. wow, that's wild. Yeah, yeah. Again, it, it was completely voluntary because I we called and uh, his agent was just like, "Look, I, I am technically his agent, and I always will be, but he does not want to work on anything right now." And I was just like, "Oh, all right." Oh, he was in this movie actually called The Love Ranch. Did How you long ever ago? See it? It was actually really fucking good. Um, that was two thousand ten, but it was like independent like really small and i was really surprised that he was in it it was sure. awesome man um but uh i'm in i'm into this can you think of someone else that makes a better mob movie than scorsese I, look i can't ma- name too many directors that are better than scorsese i mean even now uh i didn't see the the jesus movie he made the religious flick oh yeah with uh what's his dick sure uh, Paul Dano or whatever, and he goes overseas to China. Oh, yeah, no. You know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm, right? Silence. No. It was called mm-hmm. like Silence or The Silence or something like that. Um, I didn't see that bullshit. Um, but Wolf of Wall Street was one of my faves of all time, and that was just a couple years ago. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in for Scorsese, dude. That motherfucker's awesome. Uh, oh, he did that, that Rolling Stones doc, too. Shine a Light. Um, that Scorsese? Was, yeah. That was, was fantastic really too, good. man. I know. I know. He does great shit. And he's in, he's still like, he's in his 70s. He's still in unbelievable demand. 
He's a good rock dog. Unbelievable. He did Last man. Waltz too. Ah, did the he band? really? Yeah. yeah. All coked up. Coked up Court Scorsese beard. Remember? Coked up Talking Scorsese. Talking to the band. And, Just. And uh, and Ben Affleck on on coke and liquor. Mm. Those are some of my faves, man. Sure. You know. Big big fan of that. So I'm I'm in for this. This trailer just drops right now. So that's gonna be fucking red. Uh, the work. Next, the next work, <laughs> work it, girl. Do Move that your thing on the dance floor. Work. Uh, Lisa Marie Presley is doing a tell-all book on Michael Jackson that is supposed to be explosive. I've always wondered. What the fuck was going on there? Yep. So hopefully, because she needs money. She, you know, she's out of cash, right? Yes. So she, hopefully she drops the hammer and just says, look, here's what really went down in that. Because I was curious about that. And then the other one, who was it? Debbie Rowe. What was the woman after that? Who was the nurse lady. Very that had beard-like. The, yeah. 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 Uh, I've always wondered what the fucking deal was with that. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Because what are you doing? Like now that we she know. She had their white kids. Michael Jackson was tongue and butts. Mm-hmm. Um, I they, wonder what the wife sitch was with him with all of this shit, but I'm sure, look, her needing money right now yeah. is a perfect time for this because now she can come out and either set the record straight or be like, hey, man, none of this happened, but uh, she can well, tell shit got weird. Well, but remember in the documentary, so when he was with her, these boys like couldn't get a hold of him. Like he was not talking to them. mm the ones that were in the documentary. That's right. not to say he didn't find new little ones or whatever, but it almost seemed like during that time in the documentary that he was trying to like not, you know, too much heat had come to him. Mm. And this was his thing of like, I'm with a girl. Yep. And I'm, I'm married and like wouldn't return their calls. How sad to say, but that's how these guys were talking about it. We're like, they wanted to hang out with him. Right. They're calling him. They're like, what's going on? Oof. So. I would be interested to know what she has to say. I'd like to hear a little bit about Nick Cage as well. Cage against the machine. What's yeah. his fucking deal too, right? He was just being awesome. I bet. Gosh. Um, I bet I, it would was, I bet he was just him. being fucking rad. I would all. party with Cage. I know. He look, we were we were in talks to get him for Rescue 16, but uh couldn't couldn't pull that sequel together. Uh with those dicks. My god, you he was gonna play what? Vanderham's dad. How My, fucking gonna, perfect, I know, dude! Gene Vanderham's dad. So it is what it is, man. Whatever, uh, man. Some people just don't like to do rad shit. Uh, next up, though, I, last night everybody was talking about global warming on the um, the fucking debates. Yeah, debates yep. last night, and <sighs> again, this is what the homegirl was saying: of like, dude, all of everything you're saying. As you guys are hypocrites and none of this shit works or whatever. Even Bernie spouting off about his bullshit. I'm surprised nobody called him on that $15 an hour thing that he's getting sued for. Everybody's going to get $15 an hour. He, he's not even paying his own workers and they're suing right. him for not paying him $15 an hour. Right. This, there was a, a, a huge uh, global, there's a global warning th- warming event with Google that they're putting on. Okay. 114 private jets flew in for the talk on global warming with Google. Huh? What are we doing, man? Meow. <laughs> what are we doing? I mean, what the fuck are we doing anymore? I did like a couple of the candidates had um in their policy with this, you know, green new deal whatever not's going to happen, not going to happen, but not vilifying the coal workers or people that are in these industries. Yeah. That if you are going to fix this, yep that you are taking jobs away from them, right? And making them, it's like with the coal thing right now. Yeah. Where they're just out of work and they're like, what the fuck, right? Yeah. So I like that a couple of them, I think it was Bernie, although that won't work, um, had the policy of making sure that they are transitioned into something else, right? Mm. If we are changing it, we have to make sure that they are taken care of as well. Right. And I liked that a lot, but none of it's going to work, so doesn't matter <laughs> no i just you know it's it's so weird to hear everybody talk about how showering the, after work oh yeah showering after work for the people that shower actually have to shower after work it's like i've never heard that phrase in my entire life I it was used it. last night 
you're just filled with all these fucking people who look, man, what we need to do is it's the rich is ruining everything. All of you guys are rich. Every single person mm-hmm. on that stage is rich. Mm-hmm. It's crazy to me. And, uh, I just don't shower I, after work. Shower after when they said shower after work, you're just Was pulling your Delaney pants down and shitting. Or on Tim them. Ryan. I think it's Tim Ryan. Yeah, for the people that have to shower after work, and we were like, huh? Uh, oh. oh, and I liked it, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you I a, really. I was like, I figured it out. I you think got it was a more good hearty I, chuckle. Yeah, out of that. I think it was more that I figured it out. Yeah. Oh, oh, because if you have like a job, like on Wall Street or in an office, <laughs> you have to shower before you go to work and look nice. If you're in construction, manual labor, all of these, you shower after. Yeah, you really had a moment. Blammo, I loved it. Yeah. Go ahead, sorry. No, not at all. Uh, we, we got a good hearty chuckle out there. Whoever sat home and thought of that all goddamn day is, is And amazing. a couple people kept saying it, so that's going to be his uh, his phrase. Well, Everyone's s- got to have a phrase, he's, right? He's out after this debate, so I, I don't know if we'll, we'll ever hear that again. Uh, Mario Lopez, A.C. Slater, who's one of my faves, is taking heat. What's going on with him? Bullshit, dude. It's he's, just they absolutely- found out he's actually a robot because he doesn't age. or Because he keeps looking better? Mm-hmm. Um, all these people want him canceled for saying... Uh, so... He was talking about his concerns for younger children uh, saying that uh, what gender they are at three and four years old. Okay. And he's just like, you know, my opinion having, because he's got children. Yes. My opinion as a, as a parent is at, at that age, you don't know what's going on, man. You, you don't know what you're doing or talking about. Or if you're playing with dolls, it doesn't mean your son is a, a girl wants to transition and all nope. this other shit. Nope. Um, and, and then he went on to, to later say in this, this interview that he was like, you know, I also have a problem with not fact checking all of these people who've been accused of me too and shit like that. Right. And, it, and they were saying he's, he's against the believe women movement. He's against transgenders. He's against everything. No, he, he wasn't. And I read the article. I read the entire interview as a matter of fact. And all he's saying is, hey, man, we should have fact-checked this shit more. And let's face it, Mario Lopez is on every single night on, what, Entertainment Tonight or Extra? Absolutely, and has been and is on, like, HGTV. He has a show, a little show, on every single network, by the way. he interviews every single Mm -hmm. celebrity. I guarantee you most of these people that got Me Too or were going through this shit were probably friends of his. Mm -hmm. Um, And... I bet you he knows the real story about all of these people that it, he obviously can't say on air because those shows are super bubbly fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything's awesome. Nothing's going wrong. Uh-huh. We don't offend anyone, anyone ever. We never take a stance on one thing. So what, what I think happened with, with, with Mario in particular in this whole shit is behind the scenes, he probably knew, knew more than everybody else. And some of these people who were getting accused for shit, he was just like, man... This is bullshit. They were probably friends of him and knew the real story because half of these didn't end up turning out to be true. And it's like, mm-hmm. believe women, believe women. It's like, yeah, we will. But can we just wait we for the will. facts Let to come out? Let me just check one thing. Can I just check one thing? So he's getting killed online today. And, and I'm going to be real as he's with you, uh, AC Slater. I'll even look in the camera on this one. I'm with you. I'm with you on everything you said today. Uh, kids at three or four, we have children. Don't know what the fuck is going on um, gender wise. Uh, I would not have them switch or change their clothes to dress as a little girl. Like well, all of it, not because I don't want my kid to be transgender or whatever. At that age, you don't know. You see colors or things or whatever. And it was like, dude, I, I think my mom said it too. I picked out like a pair of pink ballet shoes at a, at a shoe store or something like that. It automatically. You know, you shouldn't change your kid. Well, he picked up ballet shoes, pink ballet shoes at two. And I think chances the are he's thing, a girl. He probably wants to be a girl. The other thing is you shouldn't what I have learned kind of going through that too is don't say, Oh no, but don't be like, Yay. So it's sort of this indifferent you know, you don't want them to be a serial killer that's obsessed with ballet shoes because they couldn't get it when they're, you know what I'm saying? Right. But you also don't want to let them know that, like, that makes you happy. And I think that, you know, a lot of 
these videos that I see of kids that have, you know, they're wearing makeup. The mom is putting it on. The mom, it makes her so happy. And they see that, right? Right. So for me, I just kind of was like, cool. Either way is cool. And, by, and now it's like I can't get him to even put on a pink anything. He's like, no. Nah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just because I was, and that's on his own, obviously. But I was just like, cool. I was like, whatever you want to do is cool. I'm not going to make a big deal either way. And I think doing the gender thing, right, and being like, we need to transition, that makes it a big deal. Like, just don't, just don't. Yeah. We're good. So, we're it, good. look, and, and he couldn't I have been know, nicer though. or more pleasant in this interview. Because um, I'd, re I'd read the transcription. Uh, the, the video is now circulating. So I'd read the transcription this morning. Um, and the video itself, it's, it's with Candace Owens, who uh, I like bright, super bright. Uh, Republican, no. Can Candace Owens. Yeah, she's a conservative. Conservative. Um, She's on a talk show. Well, she's got a show now, so maybe this is new. But she's a personality, conservative personality, in right? The um, intelligent and uh, doesn't go after people um, on her shows or when she's talking to people. Like, uh, and he peppers this with like, "Oh gosh, I don't know." Like, he's just a, a, a nice, genuine dude right? here, and he got abs he's getting absolutely torched today, and it's fucking bullshit, man. Um, you know. You can't think everybody's out to get you or they fucking hate you. or, And then everybody's saying, oh, maybe he's a conservative and maybe he loves Trump or whatever. And it was just like, fucking what? What are we doing anymore? He probably does. I, I, don't, I don't know I if don't he does. I don't know. But he didn't say anything about Trump in this thing. So who knows? Who knows? But I like that's where it goes to immediately of like, nope, sorry. We hate you. And here's why this. Blah. So he's getting crushed online. I don't, I don't know if you lose your job for this at Extra. Him? No. Right? Mm-mm. I, 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 it's I it's think so hard for me to was... say because everybody's such a fucking pussy that, like, I would love to say no, absolutely not. He's the best, best in the biz at that on that network, you know? If it was two years ago, yes. You think so? Yeah, but right now, no. Man. Eh, we'll see. I hope not. I mean, not. we'll see, but. I hope not. He's, he's great. Bill Maher's. Bill Maher? Bill Maher. Bill Maher is uh, on HBO. He's still out there. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I, now I called I think, that one wrong. Yeah, I, I was right. I was, I was not. On that one. I, yeah. He, look, he got away with a hard R. Um, he didn't really. I mean, we'll, we'll see how uh, Lopez addresses this, but. Lopez didn't say anything that was that bad. I know, but I, I wouldn't even say anything. I wouldn't apologize. I wouldn't whatever. I would literally just be as you. Business as usual, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll find out. I'm, I'm curious about this one. Because um, he's, look, it's trending okay. number two in the world right now on Twitter. And, and that heat, you know, that heat gets a little hot for those hombres in there who are making the decisions. Man, I like that a lot, actually. What? Uh, everything that I just did there, shortening things, mm -hmm. going real big for that, you know? Mm -hmm. That decision. Yeah. <laughs> might, that might even be actually longer than the real word itself, Jabes. Decision. Yeah. Um. Probably. <laughs> Loser. Uh, let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, Jabes, shall we? We shall. Revolutionary figure of the day is going out to Trista. Do you know Trista? Just a rain, Ryan, Ryan. Who? Trista Ryan. Who is it? She was the very first bachelorette. Oh yeah. And, and they're married, right? S s married. Still. With children. Children. This has been years. Success story. This has been years. Oh she's yeah. The, and the reason why I bring her up, I think she's the only person to get married off that show, have a full family. And they're, how long ago was that? 10 years? She's not the only one, but yeah. I, but this is the longest marriage that has gone so far, right? Right, because she was the first one, but yeah. <laughs> well, still the longest one, uh -huh. so yep. yeah. No, I know, yep. and it would be, wouldn't it? Uh, it's the first marriage. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Abacus is in the shop. Yep. Got the abacus gotta is in the shop. Pick so, that up. My beads are broken. So we will not know things like that. My beads are broken while. on the yeah. old Abbey. 
Yeah. On the Downtown Abbey. Uh, is what I call it. That's what I call my abacus. The that old movie's coming out too. Downton Abbey. I'm not going to be watching that bullshit. Downtown Abbey. There's a lot of people that watch that though. Oh, yes. Um, but yeah, they've been they've been going strong, you know? Oh, yeah. Damn it. That's crazy. And in the machine alone, the man, they relationship wise, if you're in the machine, you kind of just get kind of plugged in with another bachelor from another season from another whatever. So if you once you're in the machine, you will eventually be dating someone. Yeah. Long term. Let me let me tell your tits off on this one. What year do you think they got married? Trista. Uh Uh-huh. Trista and Ryan. Trista and Ryan. 2001? That close. I, I'm 2003. I would have said like 08 maybe or, or 2010. Oh, no. The Bachelor at has been on for 16 years, huh? Yes. Whew. Yes. Who's homeboy? Who's the host of that? Chris Harrison? Chris Harrison, yeah. He's fucking loaded. Loaded. 16. He's the, he's the Andy Cohen of that he does, sort of. He does all of them, right? Yeah. Um, what the like Bachelor Paradise? Yeah, the, it, yeah, yeah. I see he does all of them. Yeah. Wow. In a way, I don't know Bachelor Paradise if he's there the whole time or if they seem kind of Lord uh, of the Flies on that one. Yeah, where you're it's in Mexico. Just <laughs> Any, anything goes in Mexico. Ooh, and Chris maybe pops in or he goes via, you know, FaceTimes him or something. Yeah, yeah, but. yeah. Um, man, him and Jeff Probst, Proby, the host of Survivor. Right. Those guys are loaded, man. I mean, those shows have been going for because he's doing Bachelor, Bachelorettes, and then the other thing, Survivor. They go two seasons a year. Now they're doing Bachelorette Live. Yeah, like a live stage show. And I know Proby ended up marrying somebody off of Survivor. A contestant. I think he cheated on his wife with her, and they ended up getting married. Sure. So. Sure. Man, they're in it, man. They all see, they all seem like good time gal. Yeah. You know, but they will eventually. Turn into the nagging wife. Yeah, yeah. That'll eventually disappoint Always. you. I, I don't you think I cannot get... get away from that. No, no. And I wouldn't want to. The, the whole survivor thing is like, great, man. Do Dirty. I have to see your, your 184 bug bite scars the rest of my life? Like, I don't want to see that Smelly. shit. Smelly. Yeah. Chin hairs. And I don't, I don't want to see any of that right? shit. Um, and he just fell in love. Proby. She must, she must smell be something special. The pheromones. Yeah, the stink of the Ooh, island. Really got to him. Yeah, let's let's pull up Proby's <laughs> wife here. Let's let's see Proby's who... wife. Yeah, let's probst. Pro- what is it? Probst. Ah. Probst. It's a it's a, it's a weird last name. Um, it is really weird. So a bunch of silent letters in that name, huh? Lisa Ann Russell is the new one. Oh, I remember her. Yeah, I remember. I remember that chick. Did they flirt and stuff, or like, or did you notice? Uh, they were, no, I, look, it's hard to tell cause he's off camera, but, uh, I, man, is it fucking, oh my God, this could be a full circle moment for us. She no way was married to fucking Zach Morris, dude. We had uh-uh. AC Slater what? and then Zach Morris for Saved by the Bell. She was married to to uh, to to Zach Morris. Doodle Doodle Do. Yeah. What's his name? You got his name in front of you. Wow. What's his Mark doodle- Paul Gosler. Mark Paul Gosler. He's good now. Ooh. He is good now. And Probst Probst to to de Broby. Probst to Broby um is uh you know he's trying to he's Proby's trying to keep it to, in that relationship he's trying to keep it together for no he's sure. look proby looks good man he's, he's he in looks shape okay. doing all that shit he looks okay looks like a wax figure of he looks like you couldn't be able to tell the difference between his wax figure and wow him. but yeah wow. he's okay we just, he's a daddy yeah, yeah 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 he looks great they, they he uh got together with some of the well the entire cast to say by the bell them their wives and husbands because he's, he's remarried now and uh, got together for a dinner. They all look great. Totally. Uh, the only one that wasn't there was Screech and Lisa Turtle. Yeah. Lisa Turtle bleached up. She went Sammy Sosa. They wanted to have a nice dinner. Yeah. You know what I mean? Screech. They wanted to go to a classier place. Screech just got out of prison, I believe. Yeah. So we so, could probably get him on the show. I think so. It'd be great. It'd be great if he... If, if we get him on Drinking Bros. Maybe he can stab Dan. 
There you go. Mid show, that'd be great. There you go. How fucking awesome would that be? Of like, hey man, I heard you guys had Screecher on your show, and he stabbed your co-host. <laughs> Amazing. That would be awesome. Let's make it happen, uh, James. I enjoyed this. Looking forward to uh, night two of the debate. Feel bad that we're taping on an in between day, but we're hey. not going to get to know. So swing on over to uh, Drinking Bros News tomorrow. And uh, we'll give you the full uh, onesie twosies both nights of this shit. Oh. Because I have a feeling people are going hard after Biden, yeah. We won't have Williamson there, though. What? Well, yeah, lead us out with a... Why don't you announce me out of here? Thank you so much for finally getting back to me. I didn't think you were going to get back to me, but you did. And thank you. And you know the American people need to know... That we're... And then it cuts out. Getting off the air. Yeah, I said lead us out, James. Yeah, no. But I wanted it to be like a... Oh, that Ross Patterson and I'd, Jesse I have Weisman. a flair, yeah. a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> I wanted it to be a hard cut right there. You didn't cut right there. Okay, so you know I'm reminded. <laughs> <laughs> for Jesse Wiseman, aka Marianne Williamson, I'm Ross oh. Patterson. This is the Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye.